Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store tech tip. Today we have the Toro Flow Sensor. This guy is such a cute little flow sensor. Uh, what is the model number on this? This is a TFS Toro Flow Sensor. This model is the three quarter inch flow sensor. And actually I've got another one right here too. There's two for us today, one inch and three quarter inch. When you hold them up, you can see that this one here is much smaller. It's not much smaller, but it's the three quarter inch size. And then this is the one inch size. And I wanted to just take a few minutes to talk about what a flow sensor is, what it does, maybe how it works, how you can uh, maintain it, clean it. And I personally spent uh, almost 15 years working with commercial irrigation control systems, specifically with the uh, baseline brand, baseline control systems. And flow sensing is one of the key elements to uh, hydraulically managing a system, uh, capturing brakes. So if your main line breaks, you can use this flow sensor to measure that and to shut off the, the, uh, the water source, your master valve. And then you can also use a flow sensor to run multiple zones at one time. So if you have 30 gallons a minute available and your zones are set up as 10 gallon a minute each, you can run three zones at a time to maximize that 30 gallons a minute of hydraulic capacity. However, you need a flow sensor like this in order to do it. So this happens to be the Toro model. The reason I'm demonstrating it for you is because it came back to us here at Sprinkler Supply Store as a return. And so I thought, hey, what better way to talk about a product than to use one that came back on a return? There's nothing wrong with it, but it'll work for demonstration purposes. So a couple things. Let me actually open this up for you so you can see uh, exactly what is inside here. Essentially, there is an impeller. I'm just going to slide this out. There is an impeller that spins. Let me get this close to the camera. See how that spins? So that's all it's doing. Water is flowing past. And as this paddle wheel impeller spins, it puts out a pulse. So we have our two wires here, the red and the black. And basically there's a pulse coming out of here, almost like contacts were touching and it's going pulse, 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 pulse. And then depending on the model controller, let's say in this case, it was a Toro controller, you will enter what's called a K factor. And that converts pulses uh, to gallons. So every time the paddle wheel spins, it's sending out a pulse signal, which is a certain amount of pulses per gallon. And that's how the system can translate between pulses and water consumption. Um, let's see, with that being said, it is once in a while to remove these, you know, make sure there's nothing clogging them, make sure that they're clean. Sometimes debris that's in the pipe from PVC shavings or just, you know, sand and, and dirt can get in here and clog them up. So it's important maybe once or twice a year or, or just on system startup or even shutdown just to remove this, take a look at it. Um, and then this portion of it is basically just a standard PVCT, I can see on here that Toro is using the 401-010. And then they've modified the top. And then the flow sensor is actually just a private label version of uh, Badger meters, um, you know, one inch uh, or just uh, impeller. Um, so let me get this back in here. There's a little bit of grease that is getting my fingers dirty. And it's important, I think, to mention that not every control system can handle a flow sensor. It does take a uh, more expensive, higher, newer model uh, that it must have a flow input. And uh, this is not what's called a click device. This is not like an on and off switch. It actually is reading pulses and converting it to gallons. And the flow sensors are essentially the same or they function the same regardless of the uh, brand that you're using. So if you have a Rainbird controller and a Rainbird sensor or a Rainbird controller and a data industrial sensor or a Flomex sensor, any type it's an, any type it's an impeller type sensor, uh, they pretty much function 
uh, the same. The key being that that uh, K factor. So when you install the sensor and you go into the controller platform settings, you need to enter the K factor. And typically, I've got Toro's guide, you know, the instruction manual right here. They will list out, which they have here. I didn't check before, but I'm glad to see that it's here. You can see the uh, K values right here. And so you will want to enter the K value based on the size of your pipe. If it's a hatch, half inch pipe, and in this case, Toro makes these sensors all the way up to four inch, and they have corresponding K factors that you'll enter into your uh, control system. Um, and I think that is, you know, about about it. Hope that was helpful and informative, a little bit about how flow sensors work and how to maintain them. And uh, we appreciate you joining us for this tech tip. You can contact us anytime. We're really here for you. You can reach us by phone, chat, and email. And please join us for another tech tip. So long.